modern churches are modern day temples of doom and death and destruction they teach you to have a relationship with worldliness and the world's methods and business practices and lawyers and doctors and to make them your number one hope and physical capabilities and they completely rob you of a chance to have a true living relationship with Jesus Christ the Spirit of God is not in these buildings is not in these temples made with human hands my friends the temple of God is within you you have to become a stone ready for the builders use you see you have to become a page ready to be written in in your heart clean pages you need to remove all your previous writing that you've put inside your heart and soul clean it up clean the inside of the cup and present blank slates where Jesus can write in your heart just as in times past God wrote on the stone tablets the Ten Commandments we have to present our hearts to be written in by the Spirit of God all his ways all his thoughts all his ideas and desires and plans and purposes for our life you see now people don't want this relationship just as in the days of Moses they never wanted to go up and get into the mountain with Moses because what they had to purify themselves in order to do that you see the same thing is true today we want to follow God by of worshiping men who claim to have gone into the mountain my friends these men are just con men many of them they're con men con artists uh, thieves salesmen pimps and all, all what have you up there thieves hirelings everything but a true preacher for God for Jesus the preachers for Jesus you find they are not in such places and they are very few very very few because they preach against sin they preach that the temple of God is within you they preach that in order for the Spirit of God to be within you you need to keep the commandments of Jesus Christ you see they preach that God doesn't tolerate sin they don't preach business growth church growth prosperity of the world success of the world physical buildings and physical temples my friends these physical temples are temples of doom and they're gonna destroy people following these places big and small you see there are some who preach that oh you know they give you a dancing parade you know they start screaming and yelling and making you exhilarating you with mesmerizing shows of flexibility flexibility of the physical body and flexibility of a wide mouth you see and then there are those who come with an intellectual package you see well you know we have to uh, go and, and study Hebrew or we need to go and uh, study Aramaic and they come to you with all their their rules of dignity and civilization and, 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 and education it's all it's it's all carnal and, and worldly you can't figure out God you can't put God under the microscope you can't figure out the kingdom of God using a telescope God is not your observational science project you can't figure out God putting a fiber optic cable connect in, into heaven it's not gonna work you need to humble yourself make yourself zero shut your kind of mind up be still and know who is God not all these big displays of deception that you see out there huh? people are giving you this frenzy frenzied shows 
speaking all manner of debauchery, carnality, sexual innuendos. They're preaching lusts of men. And that's why people are exhilarated and they want to hear it. And they want many of these people because they don't know who they are and neither do they know the preachers. And they want it like that because then the preacher can do whatever he wants in secret and the congregations can do what they want. And then we all meet together and we all tell each other, Hey, praise you brother, praise Jesus, praise Jesus, Jesus is Lord and I, I am saved and, and all this other stuff under the sun which is all just a bunch of baloney. That's all it is. It's all just a feel-good fantasy that will turn into the, a reality that people are not ready for. A grim, the, actually the grimmest reality that people are not ready for. Because they never prepared themselves. People say, well, you know, I believe in Jesus. Yeah, praise Jesus. They quote from Genesis, the first dot in Genesis to the last dot in Revelation. But they have nothing on the inside. They have nothing on the inside. They memorized how to use a sword and when to use this sword and, and when this and that. But they never picked up a sword and used it. They never been through anything. Because their trust is not in the Spirit of God. Their trust is in the spirits that run the wisdom of the world. Their trust is in the world and the ways of the world. And the ways of the world today are making merchandise of people, telling them, you never have to do anything. All you do is read about it. Or go to a, the, you have to go to the special people, the psychologist, and then you have to pay him your money. And he's going to prescribe you on Prozac, because the doctor has an agreement with the pharmaceuticals. And then they're going to have to buy, 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 and buy, and buy. Then they put you on this prescription medication. Then they put you on that. Then they put you on a psychotropic medication. Then you tell everybody, you don't know why and when I'm going to have problems. <laughs> My friends, you like the addictions. Making excuses. When the solution is just hard work. And this is the same thing that is going on in the kingdom of God. And it's happening to a, a worse degree. And the consequences are worse for these people. They're telling people, Oh yeah, you know, you're going to be a spiritual warrior. Buy this book, 10 Steps to Armageddon. Or 15 Steps, 15 and a, and a half. Or 15 and three quarter steps to finding your way into the rapture. And all this other nonsense. What you need, my friends, is to be guided by the Spirit of God. Not following preachers who have political interests. Or following preachers who are owned by special interest groups that you know nothing about because you're too busy trying to pay bills because you want things that you don't need and that you don't deserve see my friends you, you wise up you need to live simple in in this world that we're living you don't need a, a, a fifty thousand dollar car you don't need all these things that people are telling you get rid of all the things that that, that are controlling the way you think. All the distractions that people are telling, oh well, you know, the television can be used to promote the gospel. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because you know why, why you watch the television. Those people are not even preaching the gospel. They are preaching something else. They are preaching hell. Disguised as heaven. You see? Get away from all these kind of things that people, these fake gatherings that people are doing. Yes, we need true fellowship, but true, true fellowship says forsake not the gathering of the brethren. Let's not forget what a brother is. A brother is somebody that has a very strong relationship with Jesus Christ, or wants a strong relationship with Jesus Christ, or a sister. Not, not, not so that we can go, go around and start talking about, oh, did you see that girl's blah, blah, blah? Did you blah, blah, blah? Oh, do you see that guy's this? Oh, man, you know, blah, blah. And we're just gossiping and talking about slandering people and, and, and it's all worldly and carnal. And then we, otherwise we talk about scripture. Let's talk about the scripture, you know? Well, yeah, you know, I read so, blah, blah, blah. And you never spend time with the author of the scriptures. It's all just pig water, hogwash. See, get away from this stuff. Get into the presence of God. Do what He asks. And I'm saying that to myself first, my friends. You see, 
get into the presence of God. He will quicken us. We need to become quickened spirits so that we can eat spiritual food, spiritual meat and drink spiritual water and move into the place that God wants us to be to do, to, to do His will for our lives in this world. Bring people to the kingdom of God. Not all this baloney where we start following this stuff and we end up bringing people into the kingdoms of hell. Of hell. Get out from all that stuff. And go and have a relationship with Jesus Christ.